It is National Personal Trainer Awareness Month, a time to appreciate the men and women who guide, train, and motivate us to keep our health resolutions all year round. And joining us now to share some easy exercises with minimal equipment is Coach Mina M.J. Morris and her son. Thank you both for coming in. Yeah. Thank you for having us. I think the key, and that's why I emphasize easy, because people feel like, oh my God, if this is such a chore, if I can't do this, Correct. if I just feel like, oh my goodness, they won't keep it up. They will not. And they, some people are intimidated by the actual gym. Yes. Uh -huh. They go in, they don't know what to do, where to start. Yes. And so what we want to do today is show people how you can actually gain muscle right from your home. And okay. you don't need big bulky weights. You don't need big bulky weights. What do you need? So. Resistance bands that you can purchase online on Amazon. Okay. A pack of four for like $10. Yeah. And you can do so much from the comfort of your own home. Okay. All right, because that's good. Because, you know, like, people that go to the gym, what they don't realize, too, is some of the big, bulky guys are the nicest guys to ask help for. They are. They are. The they are. Just don't get in their way when they're hungry. Right. But you're also, <laughs> and also to be using their weight, so it, it doesn't Very matter. Very true. Very right, true. But show us tough because, like you said, it's too cold out. We're not going outside. What yeah. can we do sitting at home? Sitting at home. Okay, so this is my son, Ethan, and we're going to show you three movements. We're going to start with the squat to shoulder press. Okay. So it gets you to working your legs, your glutes, and your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And get your heart rate so up, I bet. So you step in, shoulder width. Palms up and you squat, shoulder press. So you're hitting multiple parts of your body. Correct, while you're working out. And so the key is repetition. So my hope is that you do like four sets of like 10 to 12 just to get you going. Uh -huh. Take a little bit of a break in between and then keep going. Okay, are we working specific body parts on certain days? How do we break that out? It is good to split up your body parts because you don't want to be sore. Well, I actually like to be I sore. Do <laughs> <laughs> but you want to give your muscles a break. Rest is very important. So Mondays you can work your glutes, and your hamstrings, Tuesdays, upper body, take a rest day and then start again. Okay. Um, so another movement that we do like to do is to help the shoulders. I'm a shoulder girl okay. because I like tank tops. Okay. But we do a lateral raise. Ooh. Oh, that those are oh, yeah, and there controlled. You go. Oh man. And this gets your front delts uh -huh. as well as your back. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. And I see, obviously, people of all ages, men, women Correct. can all benefit Correct. from this. And seniors, you can do most of these things, especially your upper body in a chair. Ooh. You don't necessarily have to do them standing. And so I want to employ seniors who cannot move around a lot. Okay. Get some resistance bands, and you can do some things, sit it right in from a, in from a chair. Okay. Because I don't think people realize how important that getting that back strong really is. It really is. And your core, yeah. too. So yeah, one of the gonna... things that we like to do to make sure, I like to work my core every single single day. We're going to get down on the floor and okay. show you how you can do bicycles with a resistance oh, band. Oh, oh with a resistance band, band, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to make sure that you get the <laughs> resistance band right in the middle of your feet because you don't want this to pop you in the face. Yeah. No, that's true. All right. Okay. So it gives a little bit of resistance. Got it. Slow oh. and controlled and it's getting your lower abdomen. Yes. Oh, man. Oh yeah, you gotta right. be careful with that yeah. one. I can see. Yeah, I can see. That. <laughs> yeah, right I can So let me ask you this. So, sure. You, you know, people getting started, they're like, oh, you know, I'm 50 years old. I'm 60 years old. I, what am I gonna start exercising for right now? Yeah, it's never ever too late to start. So I got my start a little bit later in life, if you will. Okay. I'll be 44 this year. I started competing when I was 40. That's crazy. You started competing. At 40? I started competing when I was 40. And it's been one of the greatest decisions of my life, teaching myself and my body how to be disciplined okay. through the eating. But not only that, but my faith helps me to be disciplined as well because my body is a temple. Okay. Yes. Let me ask you this. How sure. different do you, did you feel at 40 than you did at 30? Well, around 32, 34, I was 191 pounds. Wow. Yes. I've lost a tremendous amount of weight. You lost a person. I did lose a person. <laughs> I really did. But I feel like I've aged backwards yeah. from taking care of my body, eating the things that nourish my soul, my body, and my mind, and getting in a lot of water. But weight training and strength training actually helps us mitigate the risk of injury. Mm -hmm. And as we get older, we feel stronger and we can be, I don't know, a little delicious oh, for the summer. Oh my too. gosh, oh, it's fantastic. Goodness. Let me ask you this, because sure. people starting off at home, that is hard to do. What kind of motivation do you tell people to get off the couch and get started, even if they're doing it right at home? So we get to be blessed every single day, that every day that we have breath in our lungs as a day to do something different. And so discipline really is the key. Mm -hmm. Motivation, you're not going to be motivated every day. Mm. Right. If it's cold outside, you know what, let's put that onesie on and stay in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want, you have to set a goal. 
even if it's the three month goal, you know what, I want to be in a size 10 in three months, awesome. Don't do workouts at home, jump rope at home. You don't even have to have an actual jump rope. Use your arms, and do like some cardio, doing, yeah. mm -hmm. pretend like you're doing the jump ropes at home. So in your weight loss journey, did you shoot out to the gym? Did you get a weight loss program? How did, how did you do that? I, I mean, started with therapy. Because oh. I had to figure out why I got yes. into that place in the first place. That's great. And I had to shed the weight of rejection and frustration. Okay. And then I got a nutritionist because I needed to learn how to eat. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I started with the coach, Coach Janine Merritt. She was fantastic. And then now I'm with a team called Polly Swoles, Team Swoles, and that's my coach. Mm -hmm. And I work out at a gym occasionally called Chi Town Mecca. It's on 46th and Bishop. And I just keep on going. All right. And then, and then you also coach people too. I do. I'm an online personal trainer helping men and women to discover the art of how to be a disciplined disciple of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And through that, I, it's accountability, their workout plans, and their meal plans. I'm not really strict, but I do give them a list of foods that I approve okay. for them to eat. And they can create a plan plan around that, but it's all online. They get to go to their own gym, yeah. okay, follow the program, and I've got about 38 clients right now. That's all right, awesome. so I love the fact that strength training doesn't necessarily mean weights. You can use exercise right. bands, yes. and they come in different, oh. And yeah. you don't have to like it, you just have to do it. That's right. Thank you. Oh, well, see, now that's <laughs> not, a, that's yeah. not a <laughs> something that's gonna encourage people to do it. You don't have to like it, but you gotta do yeah. it. You know, but it can be fun though, it right? Can Throw be some fun. music on, yes. get a friend yeah. going, get you know. Get a good playlist, and accountability is so part, is so important to you. Yeah. Having someone with you to walk the journey is so yeah, key. Love that is All huge. right, MJ, thanks, MJ, thanks for joining us. Thank you Harvest for having us. Harvestlivingwellness.com is where you get more information. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.